today's practice is energizing aerial yoga practice and it is excellent for you to do this practice in the morning. So come and stand um, in front of your silk and we are doing a couple of rounds of sun salutations. So inhale, lift your hands up, exhale, come to your forward fold, place the silk on your upper back and stretch yourself, maybe do a little back bend. Then come to your tiptoes in the flying, in the flying plank. Then leave your right leg in front of your mat and come to your high lunge pose. And find your foundation on your right leg because we are moving on to warrior tree. Bring your arms on the side like an airplane, place your left leg back to the ground and again stretch yourself, maybe do a little back bend. We are moving on to the other side, come to your plank pose, your hands on the airplane position, then leave your left leg in on top of your mat and come to your high lunge pose, breathe in fully and breathe out fully. Left leg is your foundation to your warrior tree. Then start bringing your right leg onto your mat. Again, stretch yourself, bring your arms above your head. Find yourself into your forward fold. Lift halfway and then all the way to the up. To standing and we are doing another round and adding something here so be prepared to inhale your arms up exhale to your forward fold inhale half lift and then come to your stretch bring your arms above your head come to your plank pose Right leg on top of your mat, come to your high plank, uh, high lunge. Right leg is your foundation for warrior three. Place your left leg down and turn onto your left side. Bring your right leg over your left and then stretch your right side. Breathe in fully and breathe out fully. Turning back to center, stretching yourself, coming to your plank pose, left leg stays on top of your mat, come to your high lunge, left leg as your foundation, find your warrior three to the other side, then place your right leg back to the ground and turn yourself onto your right side and then stretch your left side. Turn back to middle, stretch yourself, come back flying into your plank, then find yourself into your forward fold, lift halfway and then all the way up then we are moving on to hip hang, so the silk is in front of you. And make sure that you are pushing the fabric downward. And then we are coming to downward facing dog. So stay on your tiptoes. And then push the floor away, activate your upper back. and then start lifting your right leg up. Lift it up as much as you can, three times, and on the third time, you can wrap your right leg to the silk and come to your three-legged dog. Again, remember to push the floor away. And we are continuing on 
in flying splits so you can grab hold of your left leg and just try to bring your leg and your upper body toward each other then grab hold of your left foot and do a twist so your right arm and our right hand and your left leg and then place yourself into the hip hang you can have your knees bent and hopefully hopefully you are able to hang hang there my silk is a little bit too low so i have my arms on on my mat then place your hands on your mat and come to your a downward facing dog but keep your legs away from your mat and then you can release yourself and just do a little bit relaxation from the hang however you feel comfortable doing it Then come in front of your silk and place it on your upper back and then sit down. Make sure that your core is engaged. You can have your wrist resting on the silk and just pause here. Then lift your right foot on top of your left knee Still make sure that your core is engaged. Have that feeling that you are bringing your belly button in and up a little. Then release your right leg and bring it below your left leg and have the outer, outer, edge, outer edge of your right foot on the floor bringing length into your right side breathing fully and deeply and then place your right leg onto the mat and then release yourself and we are doing the hip hang on the second side so we are coming to downward facing dog just for a little while be in your tiptoes and just try to again push the floor away then start lifting your left leg up three times on the third time wrap your leg or your foot, your ankle to the silk and come to your three like your dog. Still activating your back. Moving on to your flying split. Grab hold of your right leg. And just try to bring your leg to meet your upper body. And then left hand grabs hold of your right leg. And we are doing a twist. Releasing the right leg and bringing your left leg down and coming into your hip hang. Keeping your knees bent. Just enjoying the length or bringing the length into your spine. Then place your palms onto your mat and come to your downward facing dog. 
keeping your legs up. Then releasing yourself and just try to relax for a while. Then prepare yourself coming in front of your silk. The silk is in your upper back and just sit down here for a little while so your knees are bent it's just like you are sitting on a chair have your core mindly engaged and you can have your wrists resting uh, on the silk Keep the core engaged and lift your left ankle up uh, on top of your right knee. And releasing the left leg and bringing it under your right leg, out of outer edge of your left foot is on the ground and you are bringing length into your left side. Breathing in fully and breathing out fully. Enjoying the fact that this is making more space into your breaths. then start to release yourself and then we are moving on to our standing poses and we are doing those standing poses on the silk so come and stand on your silk and then find the engagement of your core and then sit down we are coming to Utkatasana so bend your knees engage your core make sure that your shoulders are pressing down you have space in between your hands or your shoulders and your head. You can gaze up toward your hands. Then lift yourself up and bring your right foot behind the silk and place the right foot on the side of your left leg and place the fabric um, behind your right shoulder. Uh, we are coming to three bows. You can have your arms straight and you can also maybe look up. Then release your right leg, bring it on the side of your left and then start sitting down. Now the right fabric is behind your back and left is in front of you and your uh, left shin is resting on the fabric and then you start to straighten your right leg so straighten it slide it to the fabric and you can maybe point your toes a little bit so you can really stretch also the front of your leg as well also the hamstrings of course And then you can release yourself and we are coming to hip hang and now the fabric is on the back and so press the fabric down and come to your hang you can open your legs wide apart and maybe grab hold of your big toes just enjoying the hang making space and length into your spine.
then release the hand, place the soles of your feet together, then start walking toward your fingers or to the direction of your fingers and then open your legs wide apart and just enjoy the open feeling of your chest. Breathing in fully and breathing out fully. And then place the soles of your feet together. And then bring your right foot in the middle of the fabrics. So your right foot is kind of wrapped. And then just lean onto your left and kind of have your head turning toward the right fabric. So you are bringing length into your left side while standing here for a little while. Then you can release yourself and we are coming back into standing on the fabric and starting with uh, Utkatasana. So you can again bend your knees and sit down. Keep in mind that your core is engaged. Yeah, your hands are pointing towards the ceiling and your shoulders are backing down. Then come back to standing, release your left leg behind the uh, fabric and bring the sole, sole of your foot on your right leg and then release your left shoulder so it is or the fabric is behind it and then just keep your hands straight. You can also maybe gaze toward your hands. Release your left leg. Now the left side of the back brick is the one that is behind your back. Your right shin is resting toward the back brick and then you start to slide your left leg straight, maybe pointing your toes so you can really stretch your front, uh, the front side of your foot as well along with the hamstrings. And then you can start to release yourself. We are coming to our hip hang again, but we are doing handstands. So come to your hip hang, open your legs wide apart, bring the soles of your feet together. Just make sure that you are under the hanging point of the fabric and then wrap your legs over the fabric so you can straighten them and then come to your handstand. So just press yourself up, keeping your core engaged and then releasing, maybe bending your knees, making sure that you are under the hanging point, then straighten your legs again and come back up to your handstand. Releasing yourself, we have two more rounds and again come to your handstand, press the floor away, engage your core. Enjoy the feeling of the handstand, even if you are not doing that usually. And one, one last round. Lift yourself up, engage your core, press the floor away, come back down and lift yourself up from the bows. We are doing a little bit 
back strength. So wrap your arms around the fabric and come sitting down on the floor. And the first round is that you are just placing or pressing your shoulders back and down, activating your upper back. Then releasing and we are lifting our palms up next. So lift up your palm. You can do either one of the previous variations or you can try the L sit. So we are lifting ourselves up entirely and we have our legs and our upper body kind of making this L shape. And we are staying there, hanging there. And bring yourself down and one last round. Lift yourself up. It requires some back muscles, but I know you can do it. Few more breaths. And then bring yourself back down and come to your forward fold. You can release the silk. And of course, we are doing some core activation as well. So bringing your foot onto the silk, coming to your plank, bringing both feet on the silk, and then start bringing your knees toward your chest and straightening your legs. Knees toward your chest, straightening your legs, knees to the chest and straighten. Keep your core engaged and let your shoulder blades kind of like slide a little bit away from each other while you are doing this. You can release yourself into your child's pose for a little while. We are doing the same thing second time and then we are ready to relax. So again, find your plank, placing your foot onto the silk, bringing your palms onto your mat and placing the, the other leg on the silk and then bringing your knees towards your chest and straightening your legs. Knees to chest and straighten, knees to chest and straighten. Few more. and release your legs and then we are ready to relax a little so again have both of your feet on the silk come lie on your back so your feet are on the silk and you can maybe bring a little bit movement from side to side to your legs just trying to relax make sure that your shoulder blades and your entire back is really comfortable on your mat and just relax here for a little while actually i leave you to it so just try to empty your mind and let all the thoughts melt away
and then you can release your legs from the silk. If you want to do the final relaxation inside, cocooned in your silk, you can do that or you can do that on your mat. Just place your shoulder blades comfortably onto your mat. Let your feet open outward a little. And just let every one of your breaths bring a little bit more relaxation into your body. So the wave of relaxation is kind of lifting up from your feet all the way to the crown of your head, leaving your body heavier and heavier on your mat, letting all the muscles relax, also in your face. God today goes like this. Yoga is a mirror to look at ourselves from within. If you feel that you need to rest a little while longer, you can do that. Otherwise, you can come up and continue on with your day. And we see each other again next time. And remember, if you haven't already, do comment, like and subscribe to my channel. Bye now.